Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me because I have not sat down and filmed like a just get ready with me applying makeup in quite a while. So I wanted to kind of talk you through like my everyday staple makeup routine that I've been doing. I swap out different products all the time, but it's like the same steps. It's the same foundation and then concealer and all the steps are the same. I just typically switch out the products just because I like to test new things. But if you want to see this look, then just keep watching. And I also wanted to thank Merit for sending over some goodies that I feature in this video. I am very thankful for you guys. And yeah, that's basically it. If you guys want to see this look, then please keep watching. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the world to me. And like always, everything will be linked in the description box below. And I think that's it. Let's just get right into the video. All right, so all I have done to prep the skin is just done my typical skincare routine. So I'm going to also kind of do a couple extra steps that I am incorporating into my routine, especially right now with the colder months. My skin is so incredibly dry. So the first product I want to go in with is a new product. It's the Pharmacy Feeling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. I'm going to take a couple pumps of this into my hand. It's very liquidy. And then I'm just going to apply this to my face. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I have a mirror set up right next to the camera, just so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm not sure how I feel about this product quite yet, just because of the fact that I'm not sure if it does a whole lot, to be honest with you. It's very hydrating, and it does have like a really nice, like subtle honey scent, but I don't really notice a huge difference in the plumpiness of my skin. I also use the hyaluronic acid um, from The Ordinary and I think I like that one more. And this is obviously a higher price point. So I'm still kind of testing it out and using it, but so far I think I like The Ordinary one more. But as you can see, it just gave my skin much more hydration, the hydration it needs. So now I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this. It is basically just a really thick hydrating moisturizer, but it has like skincare benefits and it primes the skin so nice as well. So I'm just gonna take this all over my skin and prepping the skin for makeup is honestly like best thing that you can do because it will make your makeup application go on so much better. Layer up the hydration and layer on the skincare. And then since we prepped the face, I also want to prep the eyes, and it's the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. I love this stuff. It's basically the same, just a little bit lighter um, than the face product, and I just love this for the underneath the eyes, especially if you have dry under eyes. I feel like this product will really help you because I definitely struggle with that. So I'm just applying some right underneath the eyes. And I don't put any on the eyelids because I find that if I do, my mascara will transfer throughout the day. So I typically don't put any of this on my actual eyelids. And then lastly, for prepping, I'm going to go in with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Peppermint. I love this. I picked it up during the Sephora sale. This mask is just so hydrating and just, oh, it's like a dream on your lips. It is so nice. Okay, so we're officially prepped and ready to go. So the next product I'm going to go in with is the Hollywood Flawless Filter um, for a Superstar Youth Glow. It's like their highlighter. A lot of people I see use this as foundation. I could never. This is like way too glowy for that. But I use the shade 3, and I like to use this under my foundation just to kind of give a little bit of a glow. So I put it on the chops of my cheekbones, on my forehead, and then that's about it. I don't like dragging it anywhere else or putting it on my chin because I find that if I put it on my chin, I look like I've been eating like greasy food all day. So I avoid that at all costs. So I'm just gonna rub that in, primarily keeping it on like the tops of the cheekbones and then rubbing in on the forehead as well. This I will take down the nose. I don't mind my nose looking a little glowy, but as you can see that just adds such a beautiful glow to the skin so I could never like actually just wear this as a foundation because I feel like I would look like Tin Man <laughs> but I do love it for layering like under foundations I think it's really really beautiful 
And then one last primer that I typically apply when I'm doing like my full face of makeup is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This stuff is amazing for smoothing out your pores and filling in your pores. I just take a little bit on my fingernail and I warm it up in my fingers first and a little bit of this goes a long way. And then you just pat it into your pores. So for me, it's right here on either side of my nose, on my chin, and then on my forehead as well. So it just really helps to smooth everything out. And then I am actually constantly rotating what face product and what foundation I'm using on like a daily basis. But today I want to go in with the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's my tried and true. It's my go-to. Like if I don't know what I want to use as a foundation, I reach for this because this I know will give me beautiful results every single time. So I use the shade Fair Light. My fake tan is a little bit of a hot mess right now. <laughs> It needs to come off. It's on its last leg. But um, this is my lighter shade, but I figured we could always bronze up if needed. So my favorite way to apply this is actually just with my fingers. So I just take some in my fingertips and then apply to the center of the face first. And then bring it out. And then always, always, always remember to blend down your neck. You don't want that line of like where you can see where your foundation ends. <laughs> that is not a look, good look for anybody. So just blend, blend, blend that in with your fingers. Okay, so truly this product is amazing. As you can tell, it literally just smooths everything out. But it's so lightweight, it doesn't feel really heavy on the skin, which I love. And that's why I reach for it on a day-to-day -day basis because it just feels phenomenal and I just love it. I could not say enough good things about it. So now that we are all blended, we're gonna go in with some concealer. The concealer that I have been reaching for for a long time now is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. I have the shade Light or 20B and I'm just going to apply this right underneath the eyes. Get rid of these dark circles of mine. <laughs> They're atrocious. Put a little bit underneath like that. And then I also put it out on the sides just to give like a lifting effect and then just a little bit like that. I don't typically take this down the nose because when I blend it out, it typically goes on the nose. So I just hate the packaging of this. Tarte, you really need to like repackage your concealers because when you like put it back in and then product spills out, it's just slightly annoying. But then I'm gonna take my favorite concealer brush. This is the It Cosmetics, the number seven brush. It is phenomenal, it's dual ended. This side I love to spot conceal with and then this side I use for my concealer. So I'm just gonna start buffing that in. This brush literally just makes it like sink right in. It's amazing. And then underneath the eyes. And I do take whatever's left on my brush up on to my eyelids as well, kind of acting like as a primer to cancel out any of like the veins or like discoloration that I have. So just a little tip. But now that we have the concealer on, we are looking a little bit more lively and bright. So now I'm going to go in and spot conceal. I love this concealer for spot concealing. It's the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This is my lighter shade. I do have a darker shade as well, but I just use the other end of this brush and I dip it into the little pot. And then I use this to cover up any spots that I might have. So I have a couple spots down here by my mouth. And this is just such a workable concealer. I love it. Now it is time to set the under eye area. So I have been going in with this Jaclyn Hill Brightening and Set Palette. And this is the light shade, I believe. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is the light version. And I just love these powders for underneath the eyes. I kind of just mix all of them together on the Morphe M530 brush. And I just apply this right underneath the eyes. And I like to set the eyes rather quickly, that way they don't crease. And then since I also brought the concealer up onto the eyelid, I like to set that as well. And then to set the face, a new product that I recently picked up during the Sephora sale is this Ilia 
fade into you soft focus finishing powder I've been testing this out and I really really like it so far so I'm gonna use it today and then the brush that I've been loving is the Sephora Pro Bronzer 80 brush this I also picked up in the Sephora sale this thing's massive it is huge but it is so nice for powder I just I love it so I just pick up a little bit on my brush and then tap off the extra and then I'm just gonna start on the cheeks and just set my entire face with this powder that powder like truly does just leave like a soft focus finish I absolutely love it it reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury um, flawless finish setting powder that's like the pressed version I love that and it re reminds me a lot of that so next we're going to put some dimension back into this face and use a bronzer I think bronzing is like honestly my favorite part of doing my makeup it just brings everything to life because right now I clearly look really ghostly so <laughs> we're gonna add some dimension back into this face I'm gonna use my new Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer so I'm gonna take this this thing is massive like this I can't get over like the size of this it's in it's insane so I'm gonna take my morphe m527 brush this is like my favorite bronzing brush and then just take this in my contour of my cheeks and that dimension back in. I'm already coming back alive then I hit the temples as well just to frame the face a little bit more I honestly have no idea what I would do without bronzer in my life like it is just the best of the best like look at that like I instantly have all of my features back <laughs> I don't look so washed out and ghostly and I always take bronzer down my neck as well and I honestly am such a big fan of this bronzer already. I think the tone is gorgeous and it truly does just blend like butter on the skin. It is just, it's really, really nice. All right, so next I'm going to go in with blush. And I'm kind of torn between these two. I honestly don't know which one I want to use today. This one is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Warm Honey. I have not tried this yet so I kind of feel like I should go in with this one it just looks like really warm and like a cinnamony kind of shade but I also have this one which I have used and I love and this is the Kylie pressed blush powder in the shade winter kissed this is like your true like pinky pink and it is just gorgeous it gives your your cheeks like such a pretty pink flush it is just gorgeous I absolutely love it so I feel like because I haven't tried it, I should probably go in with this Cover FX one. But that Kylie one, I love, and I reach for that like almost every single day. So I love that one. But today we're going to try something a little different. So I'm going to go in with my another It Cosmetics brush. I seriously love these brushes so much. This is the number four brush. And I'm going to go into the matte um, shade first. They have a matte color as well as a shimmery, kind of like a top coat, I would assume. So I'm going to go into the matte side first and then I like to smile and apply it to apples of my cheeks and then I kind of brush it backwards to kind of lift the face. So I'm going to put a little there and then just kind of drag it up. Okay, that's a really pretty shade. And then if you ever, a little tip, if you ever feel like you have like way too much blush on and you just feel like it just looks like really, really intense. Take a brush that doesn't have anything or even your foundation brush or your powder brush and take it and just go over it. It's like a little tip and it just kind of softens the edges, but I think that looks really, really, really pretty. And I'm kind of interested to see what this little shimmery side does. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just stamp it on the cheeks, just the apple. Oh, I like that. It just gives like a little bit of a sheen. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it just gives like a little bit of something so that is really pretty I really like that and then I am also going to go in with highlight I don't always do this on like a daily basis but some days I do the one I really like to grab for and reach for the most is the Natasha 
Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow and this is in the I Need a Nude Glow, that's the shade. <laughs> so I like to take this with my Sephora Pro Highlight 98 brush and take a little bit and just place it right on the high points of my cheeks. And it's just such a pretty color. It's like, it's not super intense and it's also not super gold. It's not super silver. It's just like the perfect shade and I just love it so much. All right, so now that the face is done, I'm now gonna move on to brows. I'm gonna do this off camera just because it would take me a million and one years to do my brows on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead, do those, and I will be right back. All right, brows are on. I know I look like slightly crazy because my brows are like so intense. <laughs> but I wanted to show you the products that I used to get these brows. I used, obviously, my beloved Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I used two shades. I used dark brown and taupe. And then I set the brows with my Anastasia Brow Freeze and my little Anastasia 7B little spoolie and pencil. I just really like this to get that feathered look. I think this spoolie is amazing. So love, love, love those products. And if you really like a fluffy, feathery brow, I feel like that is like the best combination. So. Brows are now done. So next up, I'm going to do mascara. And thank you, Merit, for sending over some of these goodies. I actually, ironically enough, had this in my basket during the Sephora sale. And I ended up not getting it just because I got a couple other mascaras and I like tried to talk myself into realizing like I don't need to buy five mascaras at one time because they're all gonna go bad. But thankfully enough, they sent this one over to me. So this is Merit's. Um, mascara. This is the Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. And this packaging, you guys, is so beautiful. So this is what the box that it came in looks like. It's like this really pretty dusty steel blue color. And then this is what the mascara looks like. It's just a black tube with gold lettering and a gold top. It, it's just stunning. Like, this truly is just gorgeous packaging. So I want to try this mascara out because it has a really nice wand as well. So I'm excited to try this out. But you guys know before I go in with mascara, I always curl my lashes and apply a lash primer. This is the Lancome Sys Booster XL. The best of the best lash primer. It will make any mascara look 10 times better. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and I'll be right back. And also a little tip that I want to mention, when you're applying mascara or anything to your lashes, have something down below that you like look down to. That way you can get to like the base of your lashes and really coat the entire lash. That's just like a little tip of mine versus doing it up here and just getting like the tips. If you're looking into your mirror versus looking like here, you will get way more volume because you're actually getting the like the base of the lash so just a little tip so now that I have curled and applied my one eye I typically do one eye at a time I'm not gonna go in with the Merit mascara I am so excited so right off the bat I'm noticing it is very very lengthening and it actually has like a super black color as well, which I really enjoy. I don't like mascaras that are like a gray black or like just not a good black. Like this is black black. And I really enjoy that. So that is one coat of the mascara. And I will come up a little bit closer so you guys can see. So that is one coat of the mascara. And you guys know me. I love to pile on the mascara. So I'm going to go ahead do the other eye and then i'm going to go back to this eye and do a second coat all right so we now have one coat on so i'm going to go in and layer on another coat and see how well this mascara kind of like builds in intensity this is definitely truly a lengthening mascara this is adding so much length to my lashes I love it. You guys, I think I might have just found my new favorite lengthening mascara. I kid you not. This is absolutely stunning. As you guys can see, it is so lengthening and it's just gorgeous. It just separates the lashes so well and gives like a little fluttery effect. 
I'm impressed. Now, I do want to wear this throughout the day and see how it wears and see if it smudges onto like my upper lid. But so far, I'm really impressed. So thank you, Merit, for sending this over because I am, I'm excited. All right, so the last thing I want to do before we head on to lips is to set the face, make sure this all stays put. So I like to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This thing is like, it is so luxurious to use. It has like a continuous spray. It's just gorgeous. Like, did you guys see that? It was like, oh, lovely. So I'm just gonna set the face really quick. And then my bougie little self likes to set that in place with a fan. <laughs> no, this is not something you have to do. I just, it's a little extra step that I do. All right, and then lastly, we're gonna do lips. So currently, I have been obsessed. And when I say obsessed, I mean like literally obsessed with just using like a lip liner and a lip oil or some type of like lip balm on top. And it just looks gorgeous and it stays all day because the lip liner stays put. I used to really like lipstick, but this lip liner, lip oil combo is just so good, especially this time of year, my lips get so dry, um, even with the prepping that we did. So today I do wanna go in with Max Cork Lip Pencil. And I've also really been enjoying Max lip pencils. I feel like they have like a really good formula. Like it's not too creamy, but it's also not too dry. I feel like a lot of people think they're really dry, but I kind of prefer that because I feel like it'll stay longer, especially when I'm layering it with like a hydrating lip oil or lip balm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this on. And I do like to overline my lips as well to give it more of like a plumped look. And then once I have my lips lined, I just like to take the side of the pencil and kind of just work on the outsides. You guys stay inside the lines. <laughs> this is a lot harder to do on camera. And then what I do once I kind of shade in the sides, which kind of gives your lips automatically like more of a plump look, I like to take my finger and brush down and kind of diffuse the line that we made, just so it blends a little better. All right, and then I honestly cannot decide what shade I want to go with, but these lip oils from Merit Beauty are stunning. And it's actually ironic again that I purchased this during the Sephora sale. This was, and they reached out to me after the Sephora sale and was like, hey, can we send over some goodies? And I was like, uh, yeah, because <laughs> in that Sephora video, if you haven't watched that, I will link it in the cards above. I talked about and I tried on this lip oil and it is actually this color right here, Sangria, I tried on it in that video and it was just so nice. It wasn't like too oily of a lip oil at all. It was stunning. So they actually sent over two more colors that they offer. So now I have the shades Taupe, which is this really pretty taupey shade, as you can imagine. It's just gorgeous. And then this one, Sangria, the one that I already had. And then I also have All Naturel, which is just a typical like everyday shade. And I love the packaging of this too. It is just very chic and luxurious looking, like very classic and I love that. So I don't know, what shade should I go with today? I kinda wanna try taupe. That was the one that I originally had in my bag during the Sephora sale and then I swapped it out for this sangria color. But I kinda wanna try the taupe shade. So we're gonna put some of this on. I feel like this will mix really well with the lip liner as well. And these lip oils have so much pigment. Oh my gosh, I love this shade. Again, this is taupe. It is so hydrating and just creamy on the lips. I feel like these are gonna be my go-to this winter because Typically, lipsticks are super like drying and they leave your lips kind of like cracky and cakey and kind of gross, whereas this is like the best substitute of that because you could apply this, but your lips are getting that hydration at the same time. I love it. So that is it. That is my everyday makeup routine that I do. Typically, when I'm not talking through this, it takes me like 15, 20 minutes maybe. That's like tops. So it's quick and easy and it just makes you feel put together and good, but it's not like a full-on glam moment. 
so and i used a lot of products in this video that i absolutely love but i also tried some new ones so if you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video bye